Back in 2018, yeah, an 11-year-old girl received a severe electric shock at her home when touching a water pipe. Um, when the report came out, it was concluded that it was due to a bad neutral in the house's electricity supply. Now this unfortunate incident, which left the young girl with severe long-term injury, had caught the attention of the Water Corporation. Because one of our core business tasks is to send our operators out to read water meters and sometimes replace them. Now if there was a pre-existing electrical fault in the property that we didn't know about, and one of our operators needed to replace a meter, then they were exposed to a risk of electrical shock that could be fatal under certain conditions. We thought it would be a good idea to put together a sort of demonstration board for people to see where the electricity can flow and why there might be voltages appear on, on water pipe when normally there isn't under certain conditions. We just felt that that visual way of demonstrating that could be very helpful for, for non-electrical people. And let's face it, they're the ones that are out there changing water meters and repairing bursts and that sort of thing. We had some really good work to put together the, uh, the training box which, which the guys could actually demonstrate. The trouble is trying to get it onto a plane or to get it around the state, it was, it was not, not as easy. You know, the potentiometers they wear and the connection's not that good. So sometimes what you're trying to demonstrate doesn't get demonstrated as well. We needed to build something that was consistently reliable, easy to use, very engaging and self-explanatory. It was at this point that the idea of the software simulation was introduced. By actually using the app, it's actually helped them get a better understanding for it as well. So some people who in the past may have considered it worth chancing not wearing gloves, uh, won't. They will wear gloves. It was really interesting that a lot of those guys who've been following the rules for years, you know, using bridging cables but not really understanding why, the penny sort of dropped for them, you know, they said, oh, so that's how we can get an electric shock, that's why we, we put the bridging cables on. Because it's interactive, it's hands-on, we embedded it into our training materials, so we have it in our PowerPoint, in our learner's guides, and we are aligned to a national award package, uh, so the unit of competence is recognised Australia-wide. So this app can be used by any water utility or any company in Australia who wants to understand what uh, the risks are when they're breaking into metallic pipes. People could take this back home and share it with their families and their children. And consequently, they would develop awareness of how to recognise the early signs of an electrical fault inside a residential household. And just if that happened, maybe we could prevent another injury like the one that took place in 2018. It prompted us and pushed us a lot more to do this because it's not just about us in the workplace, it's about family at home as well.